Hey, what's up everybody? The July Leaks are here and in this video, I'm going to share with you everything that you're going to need to know for the month of July. And there's a lot of uh, fun things that are going to happen in July, so I definitely want to share those with you guys. So the first thing I want to share with you is the event that's going to happen and it's going to be the 8th anniversary Princess Memories. This event will run until the end of month uh, in July and uh, you could play card 1 and card 2 as part 1. Uh, starting on july 1st so this event is going to be split up into two different parts first part will end on july well it doesn't end it keeps going so you don't have to play between july 1st and july 4th uh, but you won't be able to play part three and up until july 5th uh, it's likely that they just want to split it up so that you don't get too burnt out or you finish everything right away but honestly for the month of july you definitely want to log on very often to unlock everything that's free so let's get into that the next thing here the eighth anniversary is going to have six different events so let's cover the first one so the first event is very similar to what we've been noticing is that there's going to be login bonuses of all kinds so if you log in on a regular basis just turn on your game and uh, you're going to get a special prize some of these prizes are going to be rubies coins hearts but what's special is that you're going to get a special character that you can only get when you log in but we'll get to that in a little bit the next thing is event number two, which is the missions that we just covered. Uh, it's essentially the uh, Sum Sum 8th Anniversary Princess Memories. And then the third thing is the, or event number three, is the special Sum that I was mentioning to you guys. And it's going to be the 8th Anniversary Sparkly Princess Mini Sum that you can see on the top right hand corner here. And you could only collect this Sum by uh, getting the, uh, the stamps there when you log in. And likely the 8th anniversary login bonus is going to be split up into two different parts. Uh, so make sure that you log in on a regular basis and try to get the free character uh, because it's free. So it's probably not going to be amazing or anything like that, but it's definitely a collector's item. I really like this mini here, especially with the tiara. So uh, definitely try to get it. I mean, it's free as well. And then the fourth event is a day where you could play this game for free, meaning that you won't have to spend any hearts. And uh, if you log in, the, the Zoom count, or the heart count, I mean, is going to be infinity. So it's not going to charge you anything. So you can play all day long if you want. It's going to be on July 1st. So it's all day July 1st. So if you have time on July 1st, uh, which for most of us is going to be on a Friday or a Saturday, depending on where you're playing. So hopefully you have some time to play uh, all day free hearts. And for the fifth and sixth event, I want to cover that separately here. It does deserve a little bit more attention. So for the fifth and sixth event, there's two different parts. So first of all, uh, the fifth event is that when you log into the game or every time you buy a premium box, uh, every 10 box that you get, you're going to get five level tickets uh, and uh, you could collect up to 15 level tickets. And these level tickets are useful if you are trying to level up one of the zooms that you want. Uh, for the month of June, you might have gotten some pastel zooms that are still low level and you want to get them to a higher level so they get you a higher score. So that might be a good opportunity to get some of these level tickets. And then the uh, the other event, uh, the final event is that you're going to get a lot of uh, reward bonuses whenever you complete a mission. So you may be familiar with these reward bonuses already, but generally they're not amazing. You get like 500 coins every time you complete a mission, but they've uh, essentially times it by 10. So instead of 500 coins, you're going to get 5,000. And if you're able to finish all three of the missions, then you'll get 15,000. Now, to be honest, these whenever they do these multipliers, the missions do get harder. It is kind of what it is. You still have to play a little bit longer, but it's still worth it because if you're already playing the game, it doesn't hurt to get free coins. So keep that in mind. This event will start towards the end of the month in July. So you still have some time to prepare for this. Okay, now let's get into the meat of things. These are going to be our new zooms for this month, and there's going to be a total of four different zooms. And these zooms are pretty good. I wouldn't say that they're super amazing. So what we have here is Princess Rapunzel, Princess Jasmine, Princess Ariel, and Cheer Khan. So all four of these zooms are going to be okay. Uh, out of these four zooms, I think I really like just their appeal and the crowns on the zoom. So the, de the definitely the characters are really cool uh, when it comes to like which one is the best i think princess ariel is going to be the one that you want it's going to be a high coin and so also high scoring zoom so out of these four definitely try to get princess ariel 
But let's take a closer look at these four assumes. So let's discuss Princess Jasmine first. So her ability description is a brave and bold princess who's so wise she can easily defeat her opponents. So she's going to be making special magic bubbles and it's going to appear at random. So she's going to be a good bubble maker if you have any bubble missions for the month. Next we have my favorite, Princess Ariel. Uh, a princess with a strong passion to pursue her dreams. Claire assumes in the shape of a circle and a vertical line and spawns magic bubble. So there's three components to uh, Princess Ariel, which is why she's going to be a high scoring and also a high coin earner. If you were to get one of these four assumes, definitely try to at least get Princess Ariel. Uh, she is going to be the best one out of these four. Next, we have Princess Rapunzel, a princess who snuck out of her tower, her heart full of curiosity. Clear assumes in a few spots and the center. So likely this is going to be a random clear in different areas. So Princess Rapunzel might be good uh, and her ability is likely not going to freeze during the animation so we'll have to see. And then finally Shere Khan, a cold hearted tiger that all the animals of the jungle fear. And uh, clears a diagonal line of assumes. So pretty straightforward, clears diagonal assumes, nothing too special there. So I think Shere Khan is still average, not that great, not that bad. But as you can see, um, Shere Khan is not going to be a limited assume meaning that it's going to end up in the premium box even if you don't get it this month. So there's no hurry to try to get Shere Khan if you are trying to get the little cool tiger there. On to our first pickup capsule. And just like every single month, well, I guess not every single month. Last month was a little bit different. But this month, we're going to have six different assumes in this first pickup capsule and three of which are limited assumes. So you got two copies of Experimental 626, three copies of Young Anna, one copy of Daruma Donald, three copies of Hades, three copies of Finnick, and three copies of Miss Bunny. Now, if you're able to clear the entire capsule, meaning that you get all 15 of the assumes that are in here, you're going to get the last prize, which is a skill ticket. However, I think in this selection box, Experimental 626 is worth getting. And then Daruma Donald is a very special assume that has, um, it has a low max assume skill, I guess. But Daruma Donald is not amazing, but it's a collector assume. Uh, and I'm surprised to actually see Daruma Donald back in here because Daruma Donald was one of those assumes that were given away um, when you do like the login bonus. So I usually don't see those back in the selection box or in the pickup capsule. So it's pretty interesting to see Daruma Donald back in this pickup capsule. But out of these six, I think Experimental 626 is really good for coins and Miss Bunny is good for bubbles. Hades is also good for score too. It's a very easy assume to use, but he's not a limited assume, so you don't have to rush out to get him. The second pickup capsule is more interesting. We have two copies of Spring Miss Bunny, two copies of Space Ranger Buzz, two copies of Theatrical Mad Hatter, three copies of Simba, three copies of Robin Hood, and three copies of Olaf. I actually really like Robin Hood because Robin Hood requires a lot of skills to use and gets a decent amount of coins. Uh, theatrical Mad Hatter is also pretty fun. You do have to play him pretty uniquely. Uh, I will do a little demonstration when the time comes. Uh, and the Spring Miss Bunny is good for bubbles. So I think that's the reason why I think that this pickup capsule is pretty unique, that there are some special assumes in here. However, if you don't really care for that, then this pickup capsule is really not that great for coins or for missions. So don't worry too much about this second pickup capsule. But if you are able to clear the entire pickup capsule, I think it's worth it to get the skill ticket. And then onto our first selection box. And in this selection box, we have 12 different assumes, just like every single month. And this one could be one that you might want to pay a little attention to because there are some special assumes in here that you definitely want to try to get. So first off, we have Gaston, Fantasmic Mickey, Pastel Ariel, Bunny, Young Elsa, Chernabog, Marita, Windy Darling, Prince Philip, Maui, Crush, and Mater. Now these 12 who I really like is Gaston because he's really good for coins. He's one of the top coin earners actually. So if you're looking for a video on how to use Gaston or how to earn a lot of coins, I'll link it in the description below in the top right hand corner here. Uh, and also link it when the selection box comes out as well. But he's one of the top coin earners. Some people claim that he's the number one coin earner. Uh, but definitely for sure top three. So if you're looking for a strong coin earner, Gaston might be the one for you. But it is a little tricky to use and some people struggle with that. And then number two is Maui. Maui is a really good zoom for missions. So if you're looking for a score bubble maker, then Maui is the one to go. So we have some other fun ones in here. All the other ones are okay. Fantasmic Mickey is a really fun one. 
has really good animation. So if you're into that, definitely Fantasmic Mickey is a good one to go. Bunny also has a really fun animation as well. But those are going to be my pick for this first selection box. And then finally, in the second selection box, it's a jam-packed selection box. This is going to be the first time we see a pair zoom in a selection box. And Elsa and Bruni, in my opinion, is still the best pair zoom out there right now. So you should definitely try to get Elsa and Bruni. Elsa and Bruni is a little bit more difficult to use, but it does earn you a lot of coins. So if you're looking for a tutorial on how to use Elsa and Bruni, check out the videos that I have in my channel. I have done a Elsa and Bruni tutorial in the past, so definitely check that out if you want to use a pair of Zoom to earn you a decent amount of coins. The next one that I really like is Brave Donald, but before I get into why, let me actually go through the 12 that we have. So we have Elsa and Bruni, Charm Bell, Brave Donald, Yan Sid, Happy Mike, Ralph, Jose Caricoa, Cruz Ramirez, Merlin, Captain Hook, Mad Hatter, and Rapunzel. So I also like Brave Donald because Brave Donald has a really fun animation and brings me back to those 8-bit days where it clears a lot of zooms and it's just an 8-bit animation. I also like Charm Bell it's because it's a charm zoom, easy to play, gets a lot of coins, and also just clears a lot of zooms off the screen. So really those are my top three and I think that the ad here on the left did a good job on which top three there are. Sometimes they, in the little uh, graphics here, don't really show you the best three to get but in this case they pretty much hit it on the mark i would get these three zooms all right so here's a recap of all the zooms that are available for this month let me know in the comments below which one you are definitely excited for for me i'm definitely excited for princess ariel because it's a new zoom and it's going to earn a decent amount of coins and a decent amount of score as well number two will be for gaston gaston is one of the top coin earners in the game so definitely be excited about gaston and then finally my number three pick will be elsa and bruni definitely can't go wrong with the best pair of zooms out there right now so definitely try to get Elsa and Bruni a very fun zoom to use but a little difficult to use but anyways I hope that you guys found this video helpful in determining which zooms to prepare for and if you like more zoom zoom content just like this or really just want to support this channel to continue to grow definitely don't forget to subscribe to this channel and as always thank you so much for watching